Welcome back to our last session on coming into God's presence. We've done a lot. I've shown you that the commandment, be holy as God is holy, and we've gone through a lot of steps about how we, we do that, how we become holy so that we can come into God's presence. Now, uh, this whole series I have called Climbing Jacob's Ladder. I think it's a wonderful visual image, and, and perhaps you can put it into your life. Climbing Jacob's Ladder, because as you climb, you are climbing up to God. God isn't coming down to you. You are climbing up to God, and you're coming into his presence. Now, in this last session, I'm going to show you that as this happens, you become a new creation. Now, with a Hebraic sense of time, God has made you a new creation because he sees you as righteous when he first created you or you know created you in the image of God you, he sees you as the new creation someday in the future you will become a new creation he's going to create it sometime in the future he's going to complete the process but now you are in the process of becoming a new creation so what we're going to do in this session we're going to take a look at the Hebraic sense of time and then we're going to look at two verses first the Hebraic sense of time let me read you this verse from Ephesians. Put on the new self. Remember the old self is the one that the, the world has, has formed. Put on the new self, which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of the truth. Now, I put number one in the completed sense of time. The, the new self has been created. It's been done. God did it already. He's done it in righteousness and holiness. You, you have been created in his image. That's what it says here. And that's why I put it number one. And I've put it on the timeline number one because he has created you. When you first belonged to him, you were created in righteousness and holiness. But now he's saying, okay, now it's your turn. Put on the new sense. So this is the Hebraic sense of time. And of course, in some time in the future, he'll complete the process. Now, let's take a look at another verse. This other verse says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature, new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Now, what I want to do is I want to focus in on Christ in you, which is one concept. And when you are in Christ, it's an entirely different concept. So we're going to start with Christ in you. And we see here that there was a mystery. The mystery was during the Old Testament times. It was during the times of ancient Israel. Before the coming of Jesus, th th there was a mystery they didn't know. The mystery which has been hidden but has now been manifested now that Christ has come. It's been made known. And what is the mystery? The mystery is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Well, what is the hope of glory? The hope of glory is the promise of something future. In the future, when Christ returns, we are going to be changed. We're going to be made perfect. We're going to be made righteous. We're going to be made holy. Christ is in you. That's the promise. And because God is holy, God is spirit, and God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, the Holy Spirit is in you through Christ. So you have Christ in you. You have the gift of the Holy Spirit in you. Um, and that is, is the hope of glory. Now let's take a look at what happens when you are in Christ. It's something entirely different. The one who says he abides in Christ, he lives in Christ, he dwells in Christ, ought himself to walk in the same manner as he, Jesus Christ, has walked. What does it mean to be abiding? Well, it means that you have taken your life and, 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 and you're you're wanting so much to walk in the ways of God that you have put yourself in Christ and, and, and when you're in Christ, you're walking like he walks. That's, that's what it means. So let's read our verse again about this new creation. Because remember, if anyone is in Christ, you have Christ in you. But when you're in Christ, you're walking as he, he walked. You're walking by the Holy Spirit. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. So guess what? When you are in Christ, you have climbed Jacob's ladder. You have come into the presence of God. And it's all possible. 
And we've seen that through this whole series of Climbing Jacob's Ladder. I trust this whole series has blessed you. Shalom.